all right through how you can create your book fast right and i call a book the ultimate marketing asset the reason why i call it that is because several reasons you're going to see them in this presentation i'm trying to keep this video down to 30 minutes if you want like a more detailed um, training talk to the ASCO staff, Liana, Justin, and some of the community, and maybe we can go into more detail, but I'm trying to keep this as short as possible. And I'm showing, and I want to show you how to get your book written. But before we do that, I just want to give you some reasons. I don't want to set some expectations. I, I need people to understand some things. So I'm going to share a slide presentation. I'm going to walk you through some of these things. All right. So the ultimate marketing asset, seven reasons you can write, seven reasons to write, publish, write slash publish a book while why using a book can improve your marketing and how to do it fast in eight hours or less. Um, I'm going to show you how to do that. So let me tell you a quick story. Uh, years ago, Avria, which is a real estate investment association, they hired me and they struggled with their marketing. The reason why um, I asked them, I asked them for a certain price and they didn't want to pay that price because they had they were working with a company and they were paying this company five thousand dollars a month and there was no return on their money. So. Um, they don't want to pay me for marketing, but they wanted me to do it all for free. And I, I said no. But I wanted to find out how I can help people that were in situations like this that doesn't have a budget that has zero dollars just trying to fix their fix their marketing. So went out, sought coaching, uh, sought coaching from Dan Kennedy, signed up for that coaching program. And some of the stuff you're going to learn here, that's my foundation of marketing, lead generation, et cetera. I learned from Dan Kennedy. I really love Dan Kennedy, his principles, his concepts. All right. So book stats, this is everything that we're going to go over. We're going to talk about why books. We're going to talk about why free services and industries like us, like ad buyers, why we should be using books as part of our lead generation. We're going to talk about um, educated leads, everlasting lead generation, how a book puts you on the world's largest search engine. Books can be used as great gifts. They're great marketing and follow-up tools. And this is one of the re one of the ways customers fund their own advertising. We're going to talk about why and how to reinvest back into your business using books. Uh, we're gonna I'm going to show you how to do this. I'll show you how to finish your manuscript fast with videos, and then I'm going to show you like a book writing roadmap. Next, I'm going to show you how to leverage AI, right? This is going to be the most interesting, exciting part. I'm going to show you how you can leverage artificial intelligence, machine learning to write your book. And then I have some book writing prompts, and these are not going to be um, world class prompts. They're going to be very simple. I want to make things very easy so you can do what you want with it. Right. And lastly, I just want you to understand that a book is just a lead generation magnet. Just a lead generation magnet for you to build your list. It's not, you don't have to become some best selling author or it, it's just a lead magnet. Okay. It's a lead magnet and it's a tool that you can leverage to build your list and bring yourself more business. All right. So, books. Why books? Only one, the top 1% one, 1 of population has published a book. And by doing that, you enter elite status. Next, the worst way to make money with a book is by selling it. So, we're not going to be trying to sell our book we're going to be trying to sell our services things that we offer uh the best customers are book readers i learned this directly from dan kennedy and i didn't even know that i was one of those best customers because what i did was i purchased his book and i went immediately to purchase boot camp and join the coaching program that was just a different mindset there was not a lot of nurturing when i read the book and you can do the same thing to your customers and your prospects People that are willing to read books are smarter, more invested, and less difficult, right? So they read your book. If they read it, you train them in a way. You can tell them exactly what you want them to do. You can tell them exactly how your process works, how your services work. Next, free services and informational industries. I work in the real estate industry and the real estate niche. So a lot of stuff I do is around that particular topic. All right. So it says here, you're a real estate salesperson. And in your case, you're not a real estate salesperson. You're a media buyer. Um, but the point here is you don't have to remain a salesperson. By publishing a book, you become an, all, an authority. You become an expert. So you're no longer selling. You're going to get people to sell themselves to you because you position yourself as the expert. Next, people don't people like to buy, but they don't like to be sold. So they'll buy a book. But you have to sell them in a different way and the book will help you sell them in a different way. Next, books position you as an expert. 
as we talked about before. So educating and interested leads. So what's the purpose of these books, right? These are leads that have raised their hand and shown interest in something that you do, something that you're offering. So they're they're saying that they're interested in a way. These are leads. You don't have to go out cold calling and doing, you know, some of the hardcore stuff. These people have said that they're interested in what it is that you're doing by purchasing your book. And uh, I just recently learned, thanks to Askos, I just recently learned from Mike Shree, they recommend me go out and get his coaching and his program. He has what's called a book hook. So if you want to learn more about that in detail, go purchase his course, like learn about his stuff, Mike Shree, P for Profits. But come up with a, uh, uh, an enticing book hook and you will start to get those leads, people that are interested in your particular thing. Next, uh, book leads are trained and are trained to work with you through the book. You train them exactly how you want them to work. Right. You can give them instructions or information. You can have them fill out certain things. It's a lot that you can do with people that are uh, that read your book. All right. So keep that in mind. Next. Books are everlasting lead generation. So they stay around forever. I was talking. I just did a recent podcast interview with Liana. And I told her I was like, you know what? You know what people don't do? They don't throw books away. Right. This is one of my favorite things. People do not throw books away. Mostly. Right. You got some monsters out there that will throw them way but most people don't uh what do they do with books they donate books so books stay around forever so it went from it served one person and then it serves another person and another person and another person right over here you see on my bookshelf i have some books and some of them i just don't throw away even if they're not relevant to me i'm always trying to find a way where i can give a book away i can give a book away so books stay around forever it's like a marketing asset that stays around for you forever and that's why i call it the marketing the ultimate mark the ultimate marketing asset so as stated people donate them next with all your call to action services etc within them right so you can send out some marketing material you can send out a sales letter a business card brochures flyers people typically don't keep those things around they end up throwing them away however books they stay around forever and you can put your sales services your call to actions you can put everything within your book and people will keep it around so that stuff lasts forever one of the things that i like to do is on the back of my book i have a qr code so even if people never read that book they are likely to scan that qr code go to my website schedule a consultation download a free training another lead magnet etc so that's another thing that you can do next having a book puts you on the world's largest paid search engine platform Google is number one. YouTube is number two. However, they are not paid search engine platforms, right? Uh, Amazon is the Amazon is number three, but it's the biggest paid search engine, right? And what I mean by that is we're media buyers. So people go to Google and they're typically searching for some kind of information. It's usually at the start of their journey, right? You do have Google ads, but Amazon is the biggest paid search engine. When they go to Amazon, they're searching and looking to buy something. So that's a benefit. Uh, if you get your book published and up on Amazon, you make yourself available on the largest paid search engine platform. I don't want you to go out to Amazon and make that your main strategy, but this is an option as well. And it gives you more authority. You're on Amazon. That gives you, that gives you some backlinks, authority, credibility. Books are great gifts. So you can give books away as gifts. Justin talks about a strategy that he used at one point he published his book and all he did was give them away to generate leads and it grew his business. So that's something that you can do as well. One of the things that I like to do is I like to give people two books. I say, here, you take a book and you think of someone else that could use this book or benefit from this. Someone else within your network that would benefit. Right. So now you got other leads, other more successful leads. And that person also feels good because they can give a friend or somebody that's important to them a book. They can give that gift, give that as a gift. And they feel good about giving a gift away too. Others will use them as gifts. So you always see online and in different spaces, people recommending books. They give them away as gifts themselves. Again, people rarely throw books away. Books are potent re remarketing and follow-up tools. So a book is a great starting point for your marketing. It allows you to do all of these things, right? So a lot of times online, and I know some of you here, like we'll go fill out our information or we have like um, other email addresses where we just want to download or we want the thing. Well, when you have a book, it's an actual physical item. So people are more likely to submit their information because they want their book. They want the thing. How am I going to get the thing if I don't give you my correct information? So they want the thing that you can touch the actual physical book and they're more likely to give you their 
information, right? So you can collect their name, phone, email, email address, and most importantly here, you can collect their physical or mailing address. That means you have access to them, right? And you collect that information and you follow up with them, right? AI is coming fast. Technology out there. People are overwhelmed. Well, now you have their actual physical mailing address. You can start to send them direct mail and reach them offline, right? So that's another strategy that I really, really appreciate. It means you can constantly follow up. Next, customers find your paid advertising. This means uh, they come in and, you know, there there's downloads and stuff that people aren't willing to pay for, but people are much more willing to pay for a book. They know what that is. And I learned uh, from the program that I was talking about a little bit earlier that people buy books on impulse too. And they typically don't regret buying a book. So if you sell a person a book for $20, they don't make a big deal out of it. They don't make a big deal out of it. So people are willing to spend that $20 or so on that book. Next, after they buy the book, you can hit them with some upsells, downsells, or cross sells. You can sell them another book, right? So all this stuff is starting to fund your advertising. You you understand like AOV, average order value. You can use a book to help you better calculate those numbers and better sustain those numbers, better sustain your lead generation. What else? These are some other things that you can sell. You can sell an audio. You can sell an audio. You can sell an audio book. You can sell an audio book bundle. You can sell rush shipping and handling. These are things to increase the average order value. You can sell them a webinar, a masterclass, a course, or a mini course. So I learned this from Justin. If you sell them a book, right? Somebody that's coming in buying a book, typically, right? You might have some others, but they are self-learners. So what can you offer a self-learner? You can offer them a course. So that's something that you can offer. Uh, you can also offer a consultation. Hey, I'll give you a free discount on consultation right now if you purchase at this price. Give them a voucher or something like that. These are ways to increase your order, your average order value. Next, reinvest. Put the money back into your advertising and marketing. Um, I usually have to tell my agents this because they're like, oh, well, how much is it going to cost? What's the profits and revenue? You just put it back into your marketing. You're not the book is not for you to get rich. It's not for you to even become like a best selling author. The point of the book is to generate you leads. Right. And you're generating leads essentially for free because they're paying for themselves. They're buying that book. Your objective with this book is to create a marketing budget and get you consistent leads. If you can run ads at ten dollars a day. Justin has a strategy where he teaches like five dollars a day. Your advertising budget becomes it becomes infinite and unlimited. Right. So you go out and you sell. Let's just say you decide to price your book at ten dollars. Well, you sell one dollar. You sell one book a day on an average budget of ten dollars a day. That means your leads are funding themselves because naturally. Right. Go through with the ad skills. Naturally, a few people are going to take you up on some of those upsells and downsells. So. That makes your lead generation strategy unlimited. This sounds great, Jerome, but I doubt I can do this. So I'm going to show you how you why you're wrong. Right. So can you answer questions in a recording medium such as a video? Yes, you can. Can you copy and paste? Yes, you can. Can you drag and drop? Yes, you can. Can you type commands into a computer interface? So this is the one I'm most excited about, because what I'm talking about here is artificial intelligence. And most of us here know what that is. We know how to use it. If you say yes to any of those things, you have everything you need to do this. This is the general strategy that I first started with right before the uh, I used to use Jasper a lot. But before before recently, chat GPT has come out and I'm really excited about chat GPT. But this was the prior strategy, right? You create seven videos and those seven videos are who you are, right? A video about yourself and who you are. What you do and why you do it maybe, right? So it can be five things about your expertise. It can be five things on why a customer prospect should or should not do this. It can be anything, right? Then a, a video on how to work with you. And this is typically, I we get that turned into the call to action, All right? Um, so turn your videos into text slash manuscripts, manuscripts. What you do is you're going to take those videos, all these videos that you did here, you're going to have them transcribed through a service like Rev.com or um, Otter.ai. You're going to have those videos transcribed or um, what else? Descript is one that I really, really appreciate lately. They do transcripts as well. 
So copy, paste, drag, and drop. Add pictures when necessary and relevant. This is how to expand on your manuscript fast. So once you have those seven videos created, you can expand, right? So as an example, who you, you had the video talking about yourself, tell more about who you are, right? Next, what and why? Tell stories and share examples. So you already answered the question on why. Why should I have tracking on my website? Why should I have a pixel on my website? Right. And then you can tell some stories. You can share examples. You can share experiences. And that will increase. Uh, that will help expand your manuscript. How? One video on how to work for you. How to expand that. Expand on why it's important to work with you. And why it's important to use your services. And like some of the examples above. Include some stories and some examples, case studies, right? This is where case studies are very relevant. You can put that into your book. Some of us already have case studies printed out and ready to go. You can put that right inside your book or you can refer to it. Hey, go get my, my case study at blah, blah, blah dot com. So book writing roadmap. This is what I do using a video strategy, right? You, you go to social media, you start posting those posts. You get those posts out there. Uh, those video posts, get them transcribed. Talk about who you are, what you do, why you do it, maybe why this matters, why strategy matters, why it's important, why a pixel should be on your website, etc. And then you tell them how to work with you or how to do it. Maybe you, you know, set that up. Next. So how to leverage AI. This is the part that I think you will most appreciate. How to leverage AI to write your book fast. And I put fast AF because this is like fast, like the, 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 the technology is coming so fast to help us. It's coming so fast. And we just need to get out in front of this thing and utilize it. So come with ideas ready about your niche. What's your niche? You might, you're probably a media buyer. So you can come, what are some ideas? What are some common questions that people have about what it is that you do as a media buyer? Or in my case, it's like, what do you, what is most people want to understand marketing or they want to understand lead generation or they want to understand, I have a book about video marketing implementation. So I, I just answer those things. Like the most common question, you can do a Google search, but just come with some ideas like what am i going to talk about what am i going to address common questions right what are they asking online go research that and i want you to do five chapters right i don't want you to go like we don't need to go like too far so i i normally start five questions and those five questions will turn into five chapters Next, what I've been doing lately is I do three sub chapters if necessary, right? You don't have to do this, but three sub chapters, three sub sub questions. Uh, this is another section you're going to do. You're going to add in like a read this first instruction. And usually what I do is it's, it's a sales letter. Um, you're going to want to gather testimonials. You're going to want to maybe consider a forward somebody you you like respect trust right this is like these are things that add more to your book introduction right these are ways to increase your book so you have that five core the five chapters the five questions that's the core of your book and these other things help increase they help expand your book right preface conclusion what's next in ctas so book writing prompts these are some prompts that you can use uh we, we i want you to couple this with chat gpt uh, these are some prompts that you can utilize. And you can take this over to chat TPT, which you'll see in a little bit and like start writing your book, start writing your book and get your book written fast. All right. So let's get ready. It's demo time. I want to try to demo this in uh, 15 minutes or less on how you can do this book. If you need like more detail, uh, just reach out to the ASCO staff and Maybe we can do a workshop or some kind of longer demo, but I'm trying my best to keep this under 30 seconds, 30, 30 minutes. All right. So let's get that demo started. All right. So this is chat GBT and remember those prompts that we had. So these are the book writing prompts. I want to copy this prompt. And I'm going to go right over to chat GPT. I'm going to put this in here. You're an expert about a niche. So I'm going to put in paid advertising. You will write me a book about 
using paid ads effectively, right? As an example, please confirm that you understand. I'm gonna put that in and tell ChatGPT to do that. Okay, all right, so help me All right, help me come up with five questions about paid advertising. Okay, so it's writing me those questions and this will be the core and the basis of the book. I'm gonna take one of these chapters and demonstrate one chapter to keep this video under 30 seconds and then we should be able to wrap it up. All right, so it's gotten me my five questions. I'm just gonna copy this question and I'm gonna tell it, turn this into So let's fix that. Turn this question into a persuasive headline. Put that there and see what it comes up with. Okay, perfect. So maximum ROI, um, write a chapter for this. Okay, now write three sub points. Okay. Turn these points into punchy headlines. Okay, and these these can be chapters. They're a little long, but that's okay, right? You modify it, you adjust it according to what you're trying to do. So here we go. We got our three sub points. I'm gonna tell it, write me a chapter for this and be sure to address each sub point. No, no, no. Okay, so I'm gonna stop, stop generating. 